Hey everyone, um, the other day I showed you guys how to go in manually in your art and uh, compensate for um, alignment issues when you get to the press by using chokes and spreads. Today I'm going to show you how to let uh, the computer do it automatically for you without you having to go in and uh, do it manually. So this is how we do it. You just design your artwork normal, okay, and uh, color separate. This is already in Pantone colors. You would just go to print. This is without you doing uh, any, uh, uh, creating any chokes or anything like that, okay. So I'm going to show you a regular printer first. So this is the regular printer. Go to print, and here's separations. Okay, so these are the print separations. Let's go to print separations, and for some reason, the Action Illustrated files they'll open up with uh, CMYK colors, and I don't know why. But anyway, so th this is uh, a normal printer, and this is what your normal print settings would look like on a no normal printer. And on a normal printer, uh, if you print to your regular printer without RIP software, you'll notice that you don't have um, this option here for overprints. The only option you'll have is the option to overprint your black. So whatever is in your design here that's black, if you click here, it'll automatically add the overprint okay, to it. And you don't have to worry about the size of the overprint or anything like that because um, it'll just do it for you automatically. Now, if you have a design like the one that we're working on that has, um, this one has blue and, and, and uh, orange, this is what you, and, and you know, black's not going to be in your design, and you want to overprint um, everything, this is what I do, and you can do this for all of your artwork, not just, um, you know, for, for that one. So, you'll have... In your printer settings, you should have device independence postscript file. Uh, probably nine times out of ten, you're going to have that automatically. If you don't, then contact me, and I'll tell you how to download that so that you can get that. Uh, so that you can get that file, uh, this uh, independent uh, postscript file, uh, in your printer options so that you can use it. So what this this file is, it simulates you printing to a Postscript printer. Um, so what we're going to do, you're going to create this Postscript file. You're going to hit Preferences, change your paper size to whatever paper size you want it to print out on, and then just continue as normal how you would. But when you get to separations, now you have the option to uh, for the option of document open prints and postscript trapping is here okay so you're going to create this postscript file if you create it in, in your documents you can you can hit preserve if you've already created your traps or whatnot um, if not you just leave it on ignore uh, click here on auto spreading and set your maximum point that you want it to spread and uh, by default it's it's pretty much normally at two you can go you can push this up to four and that would be your maximum which doesn't mean it's going to spread four points but that would be the maximum that it would spread same thing with text um, so you go in and you play with that and then um, you just go here and you'll go to print once you select hit print I'm not going to hit it because when when it, it for some reason my my uh, recorder cuts off but once you hit print you're going to have a file uh, wherever you save it on your desktop so you're going to have a file and once you open up that file this is how your file will open this is now a po oh I'm sorry I'm sorry, let me go back because I want to show you this. This is important. Let me go back. Sorry, guys. So when you go here and, and you go to print, 
and I'm going to go ahead and hit print. It's going to open up and you're going to have two different options, PostScript or PRN. You want the PRN file because you're not going to print this out with a PostScript printer. You want a PRN file which is a print file, okay? So you're going to save it as a print file so that you can actually print it from your regular printer. Once you do that, you save it and then you open the file back up and it'll open up like this. Now this print file that you've just created, it'll have your registration marks if you set them, your um, art detail and all that stuff. And you'll notice that it tells you here in your uh, print settings, in, in your information, it'll have uh, the name of the job, uh, if you set color profiles, it'll tell you what plate to print. Plate one of four. So this is the first color that you're going to lay down. Okay. And then plate two is the second color, so on and so forth. This is your, your print color. And it tells you LPI at whatever degrees. Okay. And that's that's great if you're doing uh, half tones and you're printing this out at, on a ha for, for your half tone printer. But this is uh, plate one. It comes out in different sheets, and so you just click on the different ones. Now you've got this is your print file, and it's on different pages. It's already got uh, your spreading done for you. So the only thing you have to do now is just go to print and print it out on your regular printer. Okay, that's it. That's how you do it automatically in Corel without you having to do it. Okay. Alrighty, y'all. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, and, uh, you know, comment. Let me know what you like, what you didn't like. That's how I get better at doing videos. Let me know what videos you want to see and all of that type of stuff. And make sure that you uh, visit my website, latana.com, if you never ever need any type of uh, screen print consulting services, classes, anything like that. Thanks for watching.